Welcome to how to record a keynote narration. Very quickly, this is a general outline of what this keynote is going to cover. Uh, the idea is not to teach you everything there is to know about keynote. I couldn't do that in a few minutes. However, this will tell you quickly how to record the narration like you're hearing me speak now of a keynote slideshow. The first thing you have to do is you have to complete the creation of your slideshow, your presentation. You do not want to come back and edit your slideshow after you've recorded your narration. So take your slideshow to its completion point, proofread, double proofread, check, double check. Once your presentation is complete, then go ahead and come back here and record your narration. I would strongly suggest that you go ahead and you write a script. It could be a general outline, but a basic script of what you intend to say, when you intend to say it, how you intend to say it, what language you want to use, even what tone you might want to use. Uh, I would suggest doing that before you record your narration. It will help you uh, move through your script, uh, move through your narration, and you won't sound quite so fumbly as I'm sounding now. Next, you're going to need to find a quiet place. Since we're going to use the onboard microphone of your MacBook, it could pick up noises from other people talking around you, machinery, equipment, cars going by, whatever it may be. So to make it sound as easy, clean, and professional as possible, try to find a quiet place to do your recording. One thing you need to do before you start recording is to check your sound settings. If you go to the Apple menu and select System Preferences, then in the System Preference control panel, select Sound. You want to check the input, uh, the input settings of the sound control panel. Specifically, uh, make sure that you are set to the internal microphone or if you're providing a USB headset or some other recording device, make sure it shows up in this list and that you have it set correctly. The next, th next thing you want to do is talk to it for a few seconds. You'll see the input levels bounce up and down. You want to get those to bounce somewhere near the middle of the input levels. You may have to increase the input volume as high as three quarters to get those levels correct. If your input volume is too low, then no one is going to be able to hear your narration. It'll sound like whispering. And even increasing the sound on the computer will not get that loud enough. So checking your input levels is very important. Lastly, you're ready to record. So you found your quiet place, you've checked your sound levels, now you're ready to record. With your keynote open, it's simply a matter of opening the inspector or going to the file menu and clicking um, the record button. When you do this, it will open up your slide show full screen. A little red button will appear in the upper left hand corner to tell you that you're recording. You start talking at any time and every time you press the space bar, a slide will advance. You can talk right through the slideshow, advance the slideshow at the moments that you wish to, and that works out your timing and, um, <clears throat> and moves the slideshow along. Uh, that's it for how to record narration in Keynote. Thank you very much. If you have any questions or problems, get in touch with me, and I'd be happy to try to work them out.